Our 12 days of Christmas series, 2020 edition. Of course it's gonna be different, it's 2020. Welcome to Sarah's My Christmas series. So this year we're gonna do things a little bit different. We are going to do nail art, of course, but it's not gonna be our traditional 12 days of nail art where we have a theme every single day. Um, half of the videos are going to be other styles of videos, such as this vlog that you guys are watching today. And the other half is going to be different versions of nail art. So it's definitely gonna be a little bit different this year, but we are pumped for it. Uh, both Sarah and I, as you guys know, don't have clients really like I have a couple people I do nails for but um, Sarah doesn't have any clients so we had to change things up a little bit this year just to make it a bit different and a little bit more interesting for us because we wanted to film some other content so we hope that you guys enjoy it and let's get started today's video is a shop with me and then decorating the nail studio so it's actually like the end of November what day is it today November 24th I've been meaning to get out like all month long to get this portion done and I just could not fit it in with everything else that was going on. Violet also started like additional childcare this month uh, so that I can get some more work time in and every single week she has not been able to go to that additional childcare for whatever reason. Uh, one week she had like a runny nose, the next week she had, um, she caught something else, then there was like Remembrance Day in there so there was a holiday and it just, it has not worked out. So anyway, this is the last week in November, the first week that she's actually going to childcare multiple times. I actually have some time to go and get this video filmed. So long story short, we're heading out now. So I just dropped the girls off at where they need to be. I am heading to Canadian Tire, which if you watched my shop with me and decorate the nail studio last year's video, Canadian Tire is like an all purpose store here like it's got hardware it's got paint it's got cleaning supplies it's got all this stuff it sounds like it's a great store I actually really don't like Canadian Tire it's like my husband's favorite store but I just find it really hard to find anything to look at there um, they have toys I don't know it's like an all-purpose store but I don't know anyway um, I'm just rambling apparently I haven't talked to anybody for a long time they have like amazing Christmas stuff usually and I heard the Christmas stuff this year is Great. Last year I did like a pinky rose gold tree and I really liked it. I need to get some more like, or some different mesh ribbon this year. I'm hoping that I can find like a rose gold one. I think that would be really nice. And then we're gonna go to HomeSense, but I'm fairly confident HomeSense doesn't open for a couple hours. So I have to wait until HomeSense opens. Um, again, I wanna see what sort of Christmas decor they have there. I wanna see if I can find those like lotus dishes that Sarah uses all the time because I wouldn't mind finding some different colors of them. I, I know people have tagged me on Instagram that there's like pink ones and stuff. So I'm definitely gonna be on the hunt for that when we go to HomeSense. And I don't really need, well, I don't need anything, but um, I don't really wanna look for more decor for my tree because I feel like my tree looked pretty good last year. I just wouldn't mind trying to find some decor that matches my studio. So like rose gold or like peachy pink type of colors of decor that can like sit in my studio for Christmas time as well. So I wouldn't mind heading to the dollar stores too. So those are our stops today. I was thinking of going to Michael's but I like actually literally don't need anything at Michael's. Like there's nothing on my list for Michael's. So I'm like, you know what, so just stay at Michael's. You guys are coming along with me shopping and then afterwards we will uh, decorate the nail studio. I don't think it's gonna happen today, but it'll be in this vlog. So let's go shopping.
think I'm just gonna do car hauls as I like come back into the car because it'll be a lot easier than hauling this all in and doing it in the studio, I think. But I didn't get anything crazy there. You guys would have seen in the footage. Um, just these little flowers. I think these are so cute. They look pretty gold though, so I'm hoping they match my studio okay. Um, I would have gotten four, but there was five there and two of them were broken. So I got three of them, but like this one looks pretty gold. So that was all I got for the studio. And then these like wall or these window things, I got these for Rose, I think the last couple of years. And we like love them. You just have to be careful because they really stick to your windows. So you're gonna be like really scrubbing your windows after. Um, but I got three packs of those for the girls to put on the windows. That was it, they didn't really have like any rose gold decor there. Mostly gold, silver, and then they had like bronze and brown, but I, gosh, I don't, I don't need to go to Michael's, but I know they have rose gold decor there. And now I'm like really interested to see it because I fully expected Canadian Tire to have more rose gold. They had rose gold last year. That's where I got a lot of my rose gold stuff from um, was Canadian Tire last year. So I fully expected them to have it, but they don't. So, okay, let's go to Dollarama because I just, I can't think of anything that I need slash want at the Dollar Tree. I decided to voice over this part because there were some things in the store that I wanted to share with you. So these little shower hooks, um, both these ones and then the round ones are the Dollar Rama or even Dollar Tree is a good place to look for these. Uh, they work really well for swatch sticks. And then these containers are newer to the Dollar Rama. I think I saw them back in the summer, but I like that they are a really nice square shape versus the ones that kind of um, the sides go up to an angle because I find containers that go up to an angle just take up unnecessary space so I really liked those ones and then I'm just gonna pan around and show you guys some of the Christmas stuff that they had at um, the Dollarama they have so much Christmas stuff there it's like crazy and these little like bottleneck trees I just think are so cute but they didn't have like any rose gold or any pink and nothing that would have fit my decor of the nail studio I always check out the organization bins and stuff whenever I'm at the dollar store too for my house and also for the nail studio. These little bins are great. I actually can't stop thinking about them and they work great for sensory activities. Down the craft aisle is another one of my favorite places to go. These are the little diamonds that Nails by Jen shares in her videos. They had tons there, but I didn't need any. And then I did head back to the another part of the um, store for Christmas decor. And again, there was just no rose gold. There was gold, but it was more yellowy gold and I just didn't think it would match my decor. I did like these kind of faux crystal ornaments, but they would have got lost on my white tree, so I didn't grab any of those. These little um, leg warmers would work fantastic for the red iguana hands. If I would have seen a color that I didn't already have, I probably would have grabbed a couple of these, um, but all of the different colors here, I just don't think would have worked for what I needed them for. But if you're looking for these leg warmers for your red iguana hands, the Dollar Rama does have some different options. So when I'm looking for clear acrylic organizers, I do like to see what the Dollar Rama has because sometimes they come out with new ones and I recommend checking the bathroom section, home decor section, and even the craft organization section. They're kind of all over the place. So I feel like I did really good at the dollar store, but nothing for the nail studio. So I'm gonna share random stuff in this uh, vlog too, because that's kind of just what a vlog is whenever I do it. Uh, but whenever I go to the dollar stores, I'm always on the hunt for like different things that I can use for sensory activities for my kids, or um, I guess just sensory activities. Is that what you would call them? Activities. I don't know, I set up a lot of that sort of stuff with them. So I'm always on the hunt for that or like their toy organization and that sort of thing. So there might be some of that. I'm just gonna randomly grab stuff in here. Uh, these are for the nail studio. I showed you guys them in the vlog, in the shopping vlog. But um, I grabbed this one because I like how it's divided and I think I'm gonna use it for my tips for my red iguana hand or the clear jelly stamper tips that fit on their stands. So I grabbed two of these and then two of these. Um, and I'm hoping 
to put these into my desk drawer because I think that that'll fit really nicely in there and I'll be able to separate some of my Opry tips and everything out of there. I'm hoping. That's my plan for those anyway. It's for the girls' stockings. I'm basically done their Christmas shopping at this point, but stocking stuffers are something that I have not grabbed, so I just figured while I'm out. Um, same thing with this for Steve. I love these type of slippers that have like a little... Um, back thing like this and he saw mine and he's like hey I think those would be great so I got mine from Costco but um, I saw some of the dollar store for him and I was like okay we'll get him those these I'm so excited about I've been looking for slippers for the girls all over the place and they had these ones they're size 6 to 11 violets in size 5 right now and roses in size 9 so I'm hoping these work for the girls uh, but reindeer ones and then little present ones. So they call them coffee spoons, but I like how deep they are. These are going to be fantastic for sensory activities for the girls. I just grabbed this one tablecloth, just a plain gold one. I was thinking about getting a cute Christmas one, uh, but I use these to cover our table when we do arts and crafts. And then this wooden storage container. I'm gonna I'm gonna start setting up like a loose part station for the girls, and I think this will work really well for a bunch of rocks and random stuff in there. And then I think this is the last thing, but I grabbed two of these pink canvases, a Santa one, I think, and a snowman one. Uh, for Christmas Eve, I set the girls up like a little Christmas Eve box. And last year we did one craft in it. I think we did ornaments. And this year I think, um, we'll paint canvases. I think that'll be really fun because then I can use them in decor the following year. So anyway, that's my <laughs> Dollarama haul. I don't know if I really got anything for the nail studio besides those storage containers. So pretty random. Yes, they're totally open. bad over there I had to drive somewhere else so that I could actually show you guys what I grabbed home sense is great again not entirely sure if I got many things for the nail studio but the things that I did find for the nail studio I'm really excited about okay so I was looking for something to hold my swatch sticks because um, I want them to be like easy access on my desk and originally I had this like marble cup kind of picked out uh, but it would just hold my clear swatch sticks and sometimes I use black and white too so I found this container and this was in the bathroom section and it's, I like this one that it's a little bit bigger because I'm going to put my clear ones in here and then black and white in here. I think this is going to work great for that. If you're looking for organization stuff at HomeSense, you need to check kitchen aisle, bathroom aisle, and like cosmetic aisle and like the homeware aisle because they're all over the store. These little dishes, they are snowflake dishes and I showed you guys something like this in a haul that was like seashell ones. I use these all the time. Like I put my tips in here when I'm doing swatch videos, I, my little fingers, sometimes I keep them in here so they're just ready to go for me. So I wanted these ones because they're themed for winter. One of the little crystal dishes. So this one has like a light pink hue to it. Super, super pretty. It's what I went in for, I wanted a pink one. This is just like a wooden spoon. I think it's actually a wooden thing that you rest spoons in. I use these for sensory activities for my kids. So I'm really happy that I have like a wooden spoon because it's something that I've been on the hunt for, which I know is so random. And then I grabbed this giant lipstick holder because my Swarovski Crystal Pixies are too, like I have too many of them for the small container that I got from the dollar store. Uh, so I wanna move them all into one here, but I, I don't think I'm gonna have enough to fill this. Um, so it might look kind of funny, but I'm sure I can find something else to put in it. But that's why I wanted the big one. And then I got these two white containers. Um, the smallest one and then a medium sized one. These I want to use for my girls toy storage. Uh, they play with like scarves and like play silks and stuff. And they're getting some new play silks for Christmas. And I want somewhere on each level to put them in. Or I might use one of these for dress up clothes too. But I've been on the hunt for like fabric bins like this that aren't going to 
uh, scratch up their nice play silks. So that was that. You guys, how cool is this? It is a bunch of crystals, just like small crystals, purple, like look at these. That is just fantastic. There's purple, there's pink, there's red, green, white. There's no gold though. And like this one is just like a mirrored one. I'm pumped about those. I think that's going to be a great addition to filming. Um, I found this Christmas tree, which I love. For some reason, I love like furry Christmas things. <laughs> uh, so this, I think what this is 12 bucks. I felt like it was fairly inexpensive. I can definitely use this in the nail studio. It's like the right color. Yeah, I was really pumped about that. That was like all the pink stuff that they had there. And then the last thing I got, which is super boring, and my glasses that we got for our wedding are all starting to break. So I just wanted some big glasses for when we have people over, which like hardly happens anymore. But we had Steve's family over not too long ago and we had like no glasses for them. We had two glasses. So um, I just grabbed a six pack. It actually was really hard to find like a six pack of tall glasses. They were all like mixed, some small, some big, some medium. And that's not what I wanted. I just wanted big six ones. Okay, so we are gonna go to Michael's because I was just thinking about it and I do not have the tool that I wanna use to decorate my tree. Michael's has a whole bunch of different colors and I'm hoping they have a rose gold one this year. So I do need to go to Michael's because I do need one thing from there. So let's go do that now. I can say is that I'm glad I'm going home. <laughs> I'm gonna stop and grab Steve and I some lunch. Um, he's working from home, basically permanently now, um, until this all goes away, I guess. Uh, so I'm gonna pick him up some lunch and then we're gonna head home. So for Michael, Steve and I got this like nativity scene from his parents. Um, they just don't have room for it in their place and it's beautiful. So anyway, I got some of this like snow batting to put it on top of. Um, I got my 2020 picture frame. I get these every single year. We usually put our like family pictures when we go to the Humane Society with our pets in these frames, but that's not happening this year. So we have to come up with some other Christmas picture to put in there. I grabbed two of these sensory bottles. They're just plastic bottles, but you can do make sensory bottles with them. I want to make um, new ones. I have a couple of these that we made for Violet's birthday, but I want to make some like Christmas themed ones with the girls. So I just grabbed two of those. Um, I grabbed some command hooks just because it's easy to hang the garland. Um, I grabbed this like little unicorn donut Christmas wreath. It's so cute. So, so cute. I'm going to put this in the girls' playrooms for Christmas. And then they did not have any of the mesh garland that I like. Um, like they had tons of it, but just not a color that I wanted. And it was really expensive there. Like I should have looked for that at Canadian Tire, but I completely forgot. So I decided to get pink tool this year. And I'm hoping that if I bunch it good enough, it'll look okay. If not, I do have some white mesh in our Christmas stash for like my house and I'll just use that. So I grabbed four rolls, hopefully that's okay. I might even have some of that stuff left over from last year. I honestly just don't even know. Okay, so we are heading home. No, we're gonna head to go get food and then we're heading home, but I'm done with this portion of the video. Next, you guys will see decorating the nail studio. So I cleared out a little bit of this space here. Um, I just kind of moved my cart 
just over here and I moved like the kids desk over here so it's just gonna function a bit better but I have to move this out because uh, I do want to put my Christmas tree over here I was kind of comp contemplating about separating these and putting my Christmas tree over here this year just to make it a little bit different I don't know I'm so torn because I tend to no, I, that no I'm not gonna do that because when I film at my desk which happens a lot this is the backdrop that you guys see so this is where we're gonna put our Christmas tree I really just hope that these work. <laughs> I just don't think they're gonna show up very bright on a white Christmas tree, but let's get started with moving everything out. I really like this shelf. I picked it up at HomeSense for the girls' kitchen stuff, and ever since I kind of downsized their kitchen stuff, I decided to move it in my nail studio to house like my flowers and my fabric backgrounds and just some filming stuff. And it actually works really well sitting behind my desk and it looks good in videos, but I definitely wanted to move the tree here. So I did a terrible job of putting this tree away last year. I literally just threw everything in the box, threw it under the stairs and just forgot about it. <laughs> I think I need to get one of those like tree bags or something for this year because yeah, it was not a good situation last year and it just got in our way like the entire year. But I'm just going to set this tree up and and fluff it out a little bit. I really don't care about fluffing out a tree. I know it would probably look better, but I would rather spend time decorating it than actually fluffing the tree out. So I probably could have done a better job with this. <laughs> I prefer to plug my Christmas trees in when I decorate them. I know that this tree works. I wasn't too worried about that. I just like the feeling of it being all lit while I'm decorating it. I initially started with the tool. So I applied this the exact same way that I did um, that kind of mesh garland last year. I just spread some of it out and then I wrap the branches around it. In previous years, I've tried pipe cleaners and stuff, but this is just the easiest way and the best way to kind of camouflage whatever ribbons you're putting on the tree. So I initially started doing like the top of the tree and I honestly you guys I wasn't too sure about it because it is very light it's a super light pink but the sparkle on it is really nice uh, so once I had a little bit of it on I was like you know what I think I'm gonna try and put my ornaments down first I was initially thinking that I could kind of tuck them into the tree a little bit and then wrap the garland around it because it is see-through. The bulbs would have like shone through a little bit. Uh, I 100% regret this though. I've, okay, I've talked about this last year, but one year for Christmas, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos on how to decorate a Christmas tree. And there was one lady that I was watching who did this like crazy football tree. It was really cool. It was like for some football team. And she started with all of her balls on the Christmas tree first, but she tucked them in really deep into the tree and that's kind of what I was trying to do but it didn't actually happen so then when I went back after I put all the ball ornaments on this tree and tried to wrap the ribbon around it just got in my way and it was a giant pain in the butt so I would not do that again I did not like the look of it and it was way too much work back to the ribbon now I at the top of the tree decided to make the ribbon not very big and bold but as I got further down to the tree I really wanted to accentuate the ribbon because it is very see-through and I kind of felt like it was a little bit hard to see on the white tree uh, so I decided to make the little ribbons really really big and I really like this I think I still prefer to use the mesh garland that I did in last year's video as well as like my personal um, tree but I don't know I'm torn because I do like how soft the tool made this tree look I think that maybe next year I would just use a brighter color and that would look a little bit better if I could find rose gold I would be all over it because I think that that would look really cool too so I'm just finishing up the tree I ended up using all four of those ribbons that you guys saw in the shopping part of this video I decided to put the biggest ornaments on first and they are these gold roses. I love these and truthfully if there would have been more I would have bought more of them and I would have just covered this entire tree in them. I like how bold they are. I like how they stand out and initially I put the big one at the bottom but after I do the top piece here that you guys are going to see I ended up moving that gold one. So these are just giant floral pieces again from Michaels from last year and I thought about putting like a star or something different on this tree this year but I really like how it turned out last year. So there are 
are some gray leaves there's some like pinky champagne rose gold florals there's also some peachy florals that match like my wallpaper and the rest of the decor in my studio and I don't know you guys I just really like these on our home Christmas tree we do have a star I also like that too but for this space I love all of the florals on my Christmas tree I also have some of these like little pinky rose gold small clip-on florals that I picked up last year from Canadian Tire and I decided to do those next on this tree again if they would have had more of these this year I would have bought more of them I love the little clip-on florals and clip-on embellishments for a Christmas tree they just work so easy I really don't decorate much of any of my Christmas trees in the back, but I decided to push the Christmas tree back right away, vacuum up the space, and also put the tree skirt down. This way I could see how the tree kind of sat for filming and where I wanted it to be. And after I have it kind of tidied up and the tree skirt on, I'm going to go in with the rest of my Christmas ornaments, which I don't really have too many other rose gold ornaments that I wanted on the tree, just some larger snowflakes and such that I picked up last year. And this really cute nail polish bottle that one of my subscribers sent me years ago, like, I don't even know, probably about five years ago now, I think. Um, I wanted this to be front and center so that when I film, it'll show up in my videos for very minimal decor anywhere else in my studio this year I do want to do something else with um, this kind of banister thing that you guys see in my videos a lot but for now I'm just going to put a couple of these pink Christmas trees down I'm gonna put one of these larger Christmas trees over on my nail art area and then just kind of tidy this up and wipe it down a little bit I again didn't want to decorate too much of this space I don't really know I just wasn't into decorating other spaces in my studio this year just the one that you guys are going to see and then my large tree uh, but I do eventually plan to put these canvases on the wall and do some sort of like large nail art feature on this wall because it's just such a good feature wall space in my studio but I don't know what I'm doing with it yet so I'm just leaving it how it is and really the only thing I decorated this year was my Christmas tree so I think that's just an attest to 2020 you guys we just got to do what we can and what's in our control and ride the waves as it's going and this is how my studio turned out this year. I know last year I decorated like the bathroom and I decorated like my editing nook and all that sort of thing, but this is what we're getting this year. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you come back in two days for the next portion of Sarah's and my video as we're going to alternate the days in December and make sure you're following us both on our social media. Head on over to Sarah's channel and see what she did for her shop with me and decor video. I can't wait to see it and I'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye.